Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When we have to suffer through people's sins, we don't always think about how Jesus always wins in the end. You see, every human being goes back to the earth or goes back to heaven, depending on your point of view. The only question is, do they go to real heaven or do they go to some form of hell for retraining and regurgitation of their life? You see, it's our lives that get put on display. It's our lives that people see every day. It's our lives that make people wonder about us, but at the same time, sometimes we're a magnet. We're an attractor for people who don't deserve us. And sometimes when we're broken, we pick the wrong people to be around us. And when we're broken, what we really need most is the love of Jesus, or the love of God, or the love of whatever Holy Ghost you believe in. We have been told in the book of John that there is a Holy Spirit that comes to our aid and speaks to us, speaks through us sometimes, and totally never abandons us. But when we abandon the Lord, we lose. We lose large because someone then can come in as a satanic force and destroy our souls, destroy our heart, and take away from us all that the Lord has planned for us. When the Lord makes plans for us, He's planning our millions. He's planning someone who loves you like the fortune of their life. And the fortune of someone's life is not a trophy wife. The fortune of someone's life knows your value. The fortune of someone's life says, I am in love with you. And I will wait for that magnificent kiss because it's worth everything to me. Every inch of you, every part of you, every special speaking moment of your soul, I await with bliss. And when a man speaks this way, he's saying, you are my heaven on earth. And I cannot live without you because without you in my soul, without you in my life, without you puttering around as my wife, it is a living hell.